Again, Justin Stanley with Gutter Ethics for clients who are thinking about getting drip edge. The reason why it has to be done correctly, if you don't remove the two starter row shingles plus the uh, starter shingle itself and install brand new ice and water shield, tuck the drip edge in appropriately and you can try to just shove it in there and do what we call face nails. You can see the plywood all the way down due to those face nails has leaked and caused rotted decking. We definitely don't want that to happen. You either do it right or you'll be fixing something later anyways. As always, we much appreciate everybody's time. We love to educate our clients and we love to further assist. Thank you greatly now, bye-bye. So here you can see a client had no drip edge nor ice and water shield, thus the rotted plywood. Same location, same roof, new plywood, new drip edge, ice and water shield to be installed. Drip edge installed on a completed roofing system. Here is a squirrel entering in a fascia slash drip edge line. Here's what no drip edge can look like from the outside view, maybe harmless. Here is the inside view, as you can see, perfect entry for squirrels, birds, what have you, etc. And here is the damaged decking slash fascia area with no drip edge or ice and water shield.